Before becoming a mom, cooking was maybe not at the to-do top of the to-do list for Mikey, but she has a passion for learning. And now she's getting some tips, tricks, and recipes from some of Pittsburgh's favorite people in our new segment called Nebbin Around the Kitchen. She made her first stop to the home of fashion designer Kia Tomlin. Let's see what the two of them are cooking up. So you won't believe where I am right now. I am in the kitchen of Kia Tomlin, and she actually, you actually opened the door and let me in. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I, I mean, I could have left you standing out there, but I'm so <laughs> glad you didn't. It's cold outside. Uh, so I wanted to come over because I wanted to um, learn what one of your favorite recipes is that you share with your family and your friends, and you kind of told me what it was. Yes, so um, no shame in my game. Mm -hmm. I, um, I don't like to cook. <laughs> I think we lead um, very busy lives between running my business and my husband's crazy schedule mm -hmm. and then my kids are just everywhere with activities. Yeah. Um, so I love things that are just quick and easy, um, healthy, so we're not you know, stopping at a drive-thru mm -hmm. um, to, um, to, to feed their faces. And I have this kale crunch salad I have found um, they actually like. Salad? I and, bet and, this kale. Is a, this is a, and kale. And <laughs> kale. This is a tough one for me. I, I didn't, I mean, you're very healthy and in shape, but it, irregardless, this is perfect for the new year. Um, for people wanting to start new diets and really get in shape, this is a, a cool thing to learn how to do. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, to be such a hearty kind of green, mm -hmm. um, it is a really good salad. <laughs> all right, all right. So Kia Tomlin's favorite recipe, how do we make it? All right, super easy. So I uh, got your kale, mm -hmm. then there's um, three tablespoons of hemp seeds, which are also very high in protein for these little tiny things that really taste like nothing. Yeah. And so just toss. But they give you that, that extra crunch, right? A little right? texture, yeah, mm -hmm. they give you a little texture. So I throw that in there, and then um, three tablespoons of almonds. Um, sometimes one, I have, do have a son that has a nut allergy, so sometimes I'll switch it if he's home yeah. to sunflower seeds. And these are the sliced almonds, Yes, right? these are okay. the sliced almonds. Mm -hmm. And then um, last is the cranberry, um, it's about a half a cup of dried cranberries. See, now this is my favorite part, and this is where I would go overboard it, with the half a cup. It probably would be more like a cup, but <laughs> you could do that, right? I mean, you could, but you don't really need it because they are sweetened, mm -hmm. and um, I use the ones that are like half sweetened, um, half not, so not totally sugar oh, overloaded. Good. Oh, that's good. And then the um, secret dressing, um, oh. super easy here, and you'll notice that like I haven't really used any utensils. That's... It's a secret though? I'm um, gonna share it with I'm gonna share the secret. Okay. So um, olive oil, this is a, a quarter cup of olive oil. And then I have a tablespoon and a half of um, apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. And then three tablespoons of maple syrup, eight tablespoon of pepper, quarter tablespoon of salt. I like how you have everything measured out. This is I, great. I watch cooking shows. <laughs> I'm so impressed. And then Dijon mustard. Okay. Matt, could you use regular mustard? Yellow mustard? Don't, don't, you? don't do mustard don't with the do recipe. That. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, Dijon mustard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I use a mason jar because then I can just kill it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's smart. I'm gonna get mess everywhere. And we're ready to go. Oh, I forgot to add. Mm -hmm. um, chicken for protein. Okay, and it looks like that was pre-sliced chicken, or did you, I, I don't know, Kia, you're the world star chef here, did you? I pre-purchased the okay, chicken, good. but I did slice it myself. You slice it. <laughs> <laughs> but you could grill up your own chicken breast and slice yes. it if you really want to be fancy. Yes, yeah. but, but for today's purposes. <laughs> but it's quick and easy, right? Okay, and so this is, this is it. That's it, that's it. Oh, I And love this is what it, this is our salad. Okay, well before we eat this, mm -hmm. I have to ask, I love this stove. <laughs> like, is this a special type of stove? Um, I, it's a Wolf um, yeah. commercial industrial, I like, guess. I, I'm into neutral colors, so the pop of red knobs. The red knobs. Gets me excited. <laughs> That's what did it for you. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so we're gonna take this salad over to something that you say you're gonna show us a very special part of your kitchen, right? Yes. Okay, right. <laughs> so let's, let's head over. Okay. You know I'm a little nebby. I think we all are. Uh, in the walk over here to this little special corner, we'll talk about this in a second. I noticed a couple of cool things in your kitchen. So what's this hanging? What was that hanging on the wall there? Oh, the servant's bell. Mm -hmm. The servant's bell. So there's doorbells in on the walls in each of the rooms around the house. And so if you want. Um, the, the servants, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to answer your needs, you push mm -hmm. the button and it brings down here and it points to which um, which room needs the service. But I right. always warn my kids from the moment we moved in here, if you push it, you better come and answer it because we ain't got no service here. I was going to say, 
Or her service. Yes. Yes. No, no service. No service. Yeah, but it's just, it's, it's cool. It's a it's, cool thing. Yeah. I like cool. that. And then also, there's some pretty big uh, canisters or containers with grains or food oh. in it. What, what's in those? Oh, it's just loose leaf tea and, um, oh. and oops. what kind of tea? The green one is energy mm -hmm. green, and then the red one is like a fruit mix. That's one my daughter uses. Mm. I don't remember what the mm -hmm. benefits of that one are. And then what's in the middle there? Is that oatmeal? Yeah, it's oats. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I love oatmeal too. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. Okay, so we're gonna try this salad here. Um, but first, we're in a very special corner in your kitchen. Tell me about this. Yes, you have the privilege of getting the corner seat, mm -hmm. which um, the entire family fights over. Really? It is the best seat in the house. So this is the corner seat? That's the corner seat. I mean, usually you put your, you put your lean back here. Okay. You put your feet up here. <laughs> And then usually you have the TV oh, on, the TV and we usually have a blanket and like a real pillow, not a throw pillow, but like a bed pillow. Yeah. And so we we sleep here, we take naps here. My my one son, when he comes home from college, he sleeps here like mm -hmm. the entire week. He'll sleep well, in the kitchen. Well, once you get in here, it's kind of hard to get out. <laughs> like, we we can we can move the table out, but uh -huh. I think the cool thing about it is that like. The kitchen is where all the action is. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to take a nap, but you don't want to like miss out on what everything else is going on, you sleep here in the kitchen. And so that way when people come in and out and people, you know, come down to get something to eat, you kind of see everybody and you're still well, present. You're not off in a bedroom If you wake up by in yourself. the middle of the night and you want a snack, you're right here. You're right here. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Let's try the salad here. You didn't get one for yourself? Oh, I'll okay. eat that big bowl later. Okay. Okay, so pour some of the secret mm -hmm. dressing on here. And so thank you for sharing that recipe with us. And let's try this. Hmm. And get some of the kale. Oh. <laughs> now, are you a kale lover or? I no? do like kale. You like kale, okay. And I like it even more now. Yeah, it's, a, it's an easy salad. Oh, this is really good, <laughs> Kia. Mmm. <laughs> All right, well, got the kale salad and I'm in the secret corner, so. I like don't, nap time. Yeah, it's nap time. <laughs> I don't think I'm going anywhere. <laughs> but you did eventually. I did. She had to kick me out. The <laughs> bell thing reminds me so much of Downton Abbey. Yeah, right? it was. It but was. I, I loved her joke. Like, there are, there's no one here that's coming to help you no, if you're no, bringing no, from no, your room. No, yeah. yeah, they have to help themselves. So I, I love that. I love the special corner there. Yeah. I, it, it was hard to get out of there. I'm sure. So we know what Kia likes to make for her friends and family, but what does she love to eat? Yeah. Well, here's her sporty side coming out. Kia really enjoys a classic hot dog. And so do I. Right. I'm with you, Kia. Oh, yeah. wow. I feel like that's so Pittsburgh. So you'll have to stay tuned in the coming weeks to see more of my kitchen adventures and really, how nebby I get. I can't wait yeah. for it. I'm telling you, with every pregnancy, all I wanted was a hot dog and a beer. Mm, That's all I wanted. So good. Right? <laughs> well, whether it's a while cooking dinner or doing, a, doing your makeup, we're always looking for hacks. And Kelly is standing by right now to help us with our beauty routines. I am so excited for this. After the break, I'm sharing some tips on how to make your skin glow and stop running makeup in its tracks. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 